Hello dear children, how are you all? I hope you all are good. Dear children, in today's video, I am going to teach you notice writing. Notice writing is one of the creative writing skills and it's a short composition. It is written in 50 words. Okay, so first of all, let's see what is a notice. What is a notice? A notice is a written or printed announcement. It is written in order to inform a large number of people about something that has happened or is about to happen. It could be an upcoming event, competition, lost and found notice or just a piece of information. All right. And this information to be delivered to the targeted audience. It is generally written in a formal tone, means the language of a notice must be formal. Okay. Now, next, I'll discuss the tips for notice writing with you. First of all, include all the pertinent informations like date, venue, time and also the notice purpose. Purpose of the notice, why you are writing a notice, it must be written there. Next, we have the individual issuing the notice, signature, name and designation along with the name of organization responsible for issuing the notice must be provided. Next is very important, placing the notification in a box. Means when you write, when you will finish writing the notice, after writing the notice, you will put your notice in a box. You will draw a box around you, it. Next is, stick to the 50 word restriction that has been set by the CBSC. The maximum word limit for writing a notice is 50 word. So you have to take care of these words in your mind while writing a notice. Next is the school organization or agency issuing the warning or notice should be identified by name and location. Next is make a suitable and brief heading. This is very important. It must be relevant to the material to be discussed. The reader should be able to figure out what the notification is about at first glance. And then devise a strategy of action. Next is the goal of notice. Its terms. The goal of notice, its term, pertinent information or other elements must be stated briefly in the body of the notice. It must also be brief while still being comprehensive. All right. Next is indicate the date on which the notice was issued. It is also very important since you have to mention the date uh, on the day when you are writing a notice. The date must be mentioned in the notice writing. Next is make it clear who your target audience is, for whom the notice is to be written or displayed. Next is, finally, very important, finally, check the text for spelling and grammatical errors. There should be no spelling and grammatical errors in your notice. Okay, otherwise you will lose your marks. It should be accurate. Now, let's move on to the format, which is very important. Format is important while writing any writing skills topics. Okay. So, what you have to do first, name of the institute organization issuing the notice must be mentioned at the top in the middle of your page. First of all, you have to write it. Then you will put heading notice. And after writing the name of the institute organization, you will leave one line gap. One line space will be given and then we'll, you will write the heading notice and it should be written in capital letters and should be underlined. Next thing is date and date you will mention after uh, leaving a line space here and date will come on the left hand side corner. After writing date again you will give a space, one line space and then will write your heading of the notice that is title of the notice which is very important means you have to write the main thing about which you are writing your notice the title must be mentioned here. Next is body of the notice. Now body of the notice it contains the main content the subject matter. Okay, so here you have to mention, you know, briefly uh, the topic, the matter on which you are writing a notice. Next thing, after finishing your body, you will give one line space and then here you will leave a line for signature and thereafter you will write your name. Here, no need to give uh, any space between the words. Okay, you will just leave one line uh, and then we'll write, you know, you will uh, put the space for signature. Then you will write your name and then designation. This name and designation will be according to the question. If in the question name is not mentioned, then you will write X, Y, Z and in designation 
you will write the designation which is given there otherwise relevant designation about the topic okay so this is how we write a notice i hope you would have enjoyed this video keep watching and keep learning thank you so much